Let's talk about plot layouts, right? Because that's where everything comes together. Yeah. So <clears> I think we have a project available, and this is the part that I would like to, to thank uh, our, <coughs> our partner in Belgium, who supplied us with the with the uh, the plot layout and the model that we are going to look at. This is uh, this is a terraced house in uh, mm -hmm. close to Antwerpen, and. Uh, and this is actually one of the one of the scenarios where we could show how uh, joints and connections between structural elements were visualized in ArchLine. Yeah, this is a larger project, and you will you will see that this project already features um, plot layouts. I just would like to click, quickly uh, clear uh, clear up that uh, how to how to prepare a plot layout, and how okay. it, how those plot layers are um, actually generated. So. What you see here, this is a detailed project with a detailed 3D, all the structures, and as you can see, there are already plot layouts. Now, how, how any of those plot layouts were created, if you already have a plot layout, and then you go to documentation and add the plot layout, that will be added as a, as a following as plot layout, page. an additional page. But if you are on an, any sort of other drawings, it will be created as, as a new plot layout page, a new, new plot layout document. So now I just would like to add it here, so I, I enable it first, and then I click on plot layout, prepare plot layout, set up the paper size, set up the paper orientation. If I have a plot stamp, I can use that. And then I click OK, click create, click uh, yes, so it will be a new page. And then uh, I just would like to, uh, you know, add details, and that this is how it happens. You can just select any sort of drawings. Should it be a, a section or any sort of things that I will show them in detail? I just show you how I place, for example, the ground floor of this uh, drawing in one sort of uh, size. And it's, if it's too large or something like that, I have few options. I can actually, uh, you know, crop the content to the drawing. Or I can at any time go to the settings of any sort of inserted content and change the scaling later on, change the floor I'm seeing, uh, change the, the layers uh, I see. So this way, I inserting the same drawing in one and the second copy, I can see two different combinations of the same drawing. Mm -hmm. Just imagine there is the, there is the uh, building plan, and there is the electrical plan, and there is the furnishing plan, and there is the tiling plan, all come together from the same uh, 2D drawing by handling the layer combinations. Okay. So, <clears throat> so this is how it goes, yes? Could we look at the plot layout again, the, that <clears throat> one? Yeah, just, just to talk a little bit about the details themselves. So mm -hmm. uh, we talked about that there are two kinds of documentation areas in ArchLine. Yeah. One is <clears> the those which are still in connection with the drawing and the others which are not. Now in this plot layout, everything is still in connection with the, with the drawing. Yeah. But there, there are certain things that you can or should and should not do on a plot layout. So what do you do use the plot layout for apart well, from collecting drawings? Well, things that you cannot do on a plot layout is, uh, is, uh, is uh, those are things that you shouldn't do uh, on a paper in real life. Uh, I mean that the paper is representing the drawing, so it's not the building. You shouldn't create the walls here. Those, mm -hmm. the, we, are, we are in the paper, let's say, paper space. So this is, this is where you can add, for example, a text. Mm -hmm. Or you can add a label or something like that. The only, the only specific thing to, uh, the, um, the, to the plot layout when you place all these things that by default they could be very large. For example, when I just add a text and I say, okay, this text should be, I don't know, um, this should be like, um, like, let's just name it 2D drawing something. So mm -hmm. if I just Click OK. See, it's it's oh, yes. it's gigantic because, because I'm, one I'm one, using right? the Arial 200 setting, and the 200 millimeter tall um, letter is like it's this on a large. Large, even next to a large paper. So so you need to use different uh, size when you add those details. It's mm -hmm. it's still the same. You can just go here and you can just edit that text. You can say this is ground floor, for example, or something. You, you can you can change that. But still, this drawing, as you can see here, it was pasted from this section. As you can see, this is the section C. This is the same content. So if I, let me just, uh, let me just, to make it easy, make it clear, I just erase this part. This is a dynamic section. This still contains the window, the walls, and things like that. So if I remove that part, or I, I, I move it, or I change, change any sort of uh, other things, this will be automatic. This will be uh, updated if I go to the settings and I choose either either to refresh this or refresh the whole content of the uh, of the layout. So I just click here, uh, and I just wait a little bit so it, it gets. Yes, while it refreshes, something that come, that came to my mind. Uh, when you imagine that you have 
you have the same kind of uh, designs coming up over and over again. Let's yeah. assume that <clears> you, you have like five different uh, types of plans that you do. Yeah. Then you don't have to do the documentation for each and every every project <laughs> that, that comes up. Instead, you could create templates for yourself. The template means the building model and the plot <laughs> layouts with the sections and elevations. Yeah. So you can open up the project, uh, make the necessary changes which are demanded by the cert certain project, maybe move the partition walls yeah. and things like that. And then you can just refresh the plot layouts and refresh all the views and elevations. You don't have to create <laughs> everything for every single project. If you, but this only works if you have the same kind of. Well, I think I think this building uh, could be something like similar. I think this wasn't, but this could be something like yes. that. Just imagine a newly built uh, area of a city where this is kind of a. A t type building, which yes. is built from place to yes, place, all like the 20, same, 20 of all the same with different layouts. So you just design the one that mm -hmm. that is kind of the generic, and then you save that project, and all things that you already created will be kept. So you just reopen it, save it, like I don't know, building two, building three. Uh, design uh, project and then you make the changes, update the layouts and th then you can even create, mm -hmm. and this is the final thing I would like to uh, show here and then we can talk about the last uh, topic, you can even build up the, uh, the uh, print queue. Well, the print queue is, is something that you can build up a series of pages by simply adding those pages and tell that, well, there should be a ground floor or there should be any sort of plot layout that I'm, I'm about to um, bring in and then I can create a multi-page uh, PDF as well. We covered that already, so I yes. don't want to uh, repeat that thing uh, over here, uh, but uh, you can also create the, the plot layout. And, the, and the, the reason I, I was showing this, because con uh, connecting to that workflow that you mentioned, the print queue is saved with the project. So mm -hmm. one year, two years later, if I open this, uh, this project up, I will, I will have the same uh, print queue that I already created.